Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat. We're shaking this evening. I'm just back to drop some more energy for you guys. So thanks for joining me, subscribing, liking, sharing, booking, donations, and everything. Um, especially for the two uh, donations I received today. I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay. So also, I have some more energy for you guys. All right. And this is um, to include you, Divine Femme. You know, we always find out about the masculine. So let's find out about what's going on with you as well. And some, um, I got some karmic energy that want to slip out because there's a karmic who want you to lose divine fam. And whatever the fucking race is, I don't think you guys even know you was in a race or a competition, but this person, however, wants you to lose at everything in life, in love, in money, finances, career, everything. Okay. They just want you to lose and they could be wishing this upon you and giving you evil eye. Okay. Yeah, because this person is very upset, all right, and she want you to come for her, and you know, no one's going to come for you, um, no one fight like this anymore, but this person is very upset, this could be someone who's cutting on themselves as well, all right, this is someone who's carrying a knife, but she is like on edge, and she is seeking violence, okay, so just be aware of that, and Divine said this person is fooling everyone, She's fooling everyone except the divine. Okay? Now, your ancestors have a message here. And this is about the truth. All right? So this is the four, I mean, the ace of knives. But this is the ace of swords. So it's like your ancestors are going to bring some truth to you about this situation. All right? It's been hidden. You guys don't know the truth. But you're definitely getting me messages from your ancestors downloads, synchronicities through dreams. They're letting you know everything, okay? The Ace of Swords is coming from your ancestors, letting you know truth. The Seven of Baskets, all right? That's the Seven of Cups. This is options. Somebody definitely had a lot of options. They've been utilizing a lot of options, staying confused. And that's what some of the truth is coming out here. They could have been dating maybe up to seven different people, okay? And this is the Ace of Baskets. Offering love, Ace of Cups. Just offering love to multiple suitors, multiple lovers. This is some truth that the ancestors are bringing to your attention, okay? Because now it's about the Ace of Coins. Someone could be back just for your coins, your pinnacles, the Ace of Pinnacles. That's why they're returning. And this could be a message that Divine is giving you. Watch out, because somebody could be after your pinnacles. All right, this is a soulmate. Two of Cups, they can act like they're your soulmate, want to devote so much attention to you, but really, they're only here for your pinnacles, ancestor messages, okay? Because they see you as a victory, Six of Wands. You could be a Leo, Aries, or a Sag, all right? They want a victory with you, all right? But this is Nine of Coins, Nine of Pinnacles, because someone see you single, independent, and doing good. Now they want to come back. They don't want you to be that because they're afraid that someone else is going to offer you something on your same level. Okay? Someone's going to come and offer you, you know, put their nine of pentacles with yours or put that extra pinnacle and make it ten of pentacles with you. And they know this, and they don't want you single out here with your pinnacles. All right? So that's what your ancestors are telling you here. All right? That's what they're telling you here. All right? The Eight of Baskets. So watch out because this Eight of Cups. Look at this, guys. Eight of Cups. Your ancestors are saying Eight of Cups. Eight of Baskets is Cups. Okay? And Divine is saying it's time to walk away from a situation. This is the Eight of Cups that uh, the female energy is walking away. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But however, it's a female energy that needs to walk away from a situation. And this is an ancestor message as well, okay? That you need to walk away. All right, somebody's just keeping you waiting and hanging and living and, you know, not giving you no answers about what's going on. So you postponing your life. Divine said it's time to step back, take some breathing room. You could feel a lot of anxiety, overwhelmed, especially if your, man, your masculine resurfaced, okay? And this is, yeah, this person is strictly fooling everyone about what they're doing. This is the copycat energy that actually wants to be the feminine, okay? 
and this is I can't put up with this anymore. The masculine is drained of this connection with this karmic energy. He's drained. The karmic is draining them wherever they're at right now. They can't put up with it anymore. All right. But this karmic is pissed off and she's saying, I hate you for hurting me. And also, this is how some of you guys feel about the masculine energy. You hate this person for hurting you. This masculine is kind of known as a player and a heartbreaker energy. Okay? Because look at this energy. And I put up both of these cards so it's a message that this masculine is saying that they can never really have just one. They can't just have just one person here. All right? And they want to build and create things together. But they're trying to build and create two different families, two different lives, trying to hold on to two different people for their own selfish needs. Okay? And that's why Divine is saying that there's a tower moment coming. All right? Because somebody wants you chained and trapped. All right? Just like they are. They chained and trapped in their ways. In their ways. And they don't want to change those. Okay? So this is also, I'm hiding my true feelings for you. And this is what's really going on with the masculine. He's kind of stuck in Dark Knight is Soul Energy. So you guys are headed towards the sun. Here's the sun. You could be a Leo. You are headed towards the sun. Beautiful, positive energy. And this is, yes, is the answer from spirit. Okay? And this is, ask for help. Divine saying that, Okay, so I picked up both of these cards. Ask for help. Whatever you need, they will assist you. All right, the sun is here. So they're here protecting you and guiding you through any situations and any fuck shit. Okay, your ancestors are here as well. Because you need to re-emerge in your life. Re-energize as well. Re-energize your life. Okay, and you can only do that by knowing some truth about someone who turned your way, okay? You're going to know the truth of why someone turned your way as well, and that's coming from your ancestors because they want you to be aware of a situation that's taking place and unfolding right before your eyes, okay? Mm. So let's go with the overall energy of this reading, Holy Spirit. What's the overall energy of this reading, Divine Femme? What we need to walk away from, and what are the spirit messages? All right, so you need to recognize that you are a goddess. But this is also more moon energy. It's a lot of secrets and things are being exposed to you. So you might as well be aware. All right. The number five is conflict and change and choices. And number two is you're going to have to make that decision about some conflicting in energy or information that you might find out. All right. And this is somebody needs is trying to open up their throat chakra to have this conversation with you. But they're very concerned about being judged. They want to communicate with you. And hopefully this will help close out this cycle so you can begin a new cycle. It's what they're thinking. They're definitely getting guided by spirit here. Okay? Because it's a lot of deceit going on. You guys are definitely seeing 555. Five, five, okay? But spirit is here in this energy right here. And 3 and 2 is 5. So spirit know the conflict that's going on. They know the deception that's going on. Deceit as well. And they're urging you to somebody to tell the truth about this deception so you guys can start a new chapter. And that's the only way this new chapter can be started. The conflict has to be don't known. Somebody have to make a choice to tell you about their deceptive ass shit that they did to you behind your back. Now, a lot of you guys are empaths and you already know a lot of shit as well. But it's some things that you just don't know that this person is willing to take to the grave. But Divine said, in time, this will surface. This energy, this information, it will be exposed, okay? They have appreciation for you, all right? One and six, a new beginning from somebody for after conflict, a new beginning, all right? And Divine is saying, having patience. This is the number seven as well, one and six. The number seven, self-reflecting, all right? And this is to new love, 33. This communication could be coming in in regards to new love. You might meet someone new. All right. But someone wants to open up their heart to you. All right. Because they want this temple path. They want this journey with you. They want to go down this path with you. They want to communicate with you. Have this new beginning. They want to make the right choices with you. 
okay? Look at that, because you're headed down a new path, all right? And you've been given the key, all right? The key is right around her neck, all right? You've been given a key to a new journey, to a new beginning, all right? And there's communication coming in, and there's also a clean slate, all right? And somebody's trying to make that right decision of what path is abundant for their lives. Do someone want to stay in the path? Or in the past, or do someone want to move forward? So that's a decision that someone could be trying to make, and they're undecided, two of swords, all right, and it's causing a lot of anxiety in the situation. All right, so one and nine, you know, one and eight is nine about closing out a cycle, going in a new direction in which you're being guided to, because the situation and where you're at now, nine of swords, is stuck energy. You're in anxiety over the situation. And that's why divine is guiding you down another path that is more fruitful. Okay? So let's get off into this energy. This is you, divine fam. All right? It's like you're hazy, lazy, tired of this fuck shit. All right? And you feel like you're very unclear about which road to choose, where you're going, where you're headed, what's next. All right. So you're saying, OK, divine, I cleaned out this cycle, this um, closed out this karmic cycle. Where do I go now? What's next? All right. So pay attention to the signs. Oh, and synchronicities. I'm going to take all those cards. Divine said it's time to be fierce and stand in your power and be strong. That's what's next. OK, so I'm going to pick up all of these cards that fell on the floor. So give me a second. OK. You guys can be all over the place, too. Okay. Okay. All right. So, yes. Okay. The cards that fell on the floor is, you know, I said be fierce. But Divine is saying that you are a shining star. You're a shining star. Okay. And it's always someone coming to invade your mind, your privacy, just an invasion in your life but not willing to offer you anything solid. You have to monitor someone's behavior as well as your own, okay? What you put out there is what you'll get back. But you have to monitor someone's behavior because it's not a benefit towards you. And you have to watch about what type of behaviors you engage yourself in because that could create a blockage in your life. All right? And it's a lot of bitterness going on here. All right? So this is a bitter bitch that's um, bitter, and she'd rather see your ass down here, all right, stabbed to death on the ground, okay? She has no remorse, okay? And this is your heart in her hand. This is someone who's really bitter and jealous about who you are, about this connection. Mm -hmm. All right, Divine Femme, you could be very talented. You could have a lot of skills that's lucrative. All right. You could be very creative. You could have a hobby. I don't know why I get a lot of music. It could be a lot of music, um, singing, an uh, actress. You could play an instrument, some type of dancing. I feel like it's a lot of talent going on with you wherever it is. And Divine saying, remember that you are very talented. Use some of your talents for something positive. Instead of being hurt and stuck in situations, they want you to use your talents. Okay, they want you to stop being so wounded. Stop acting like you're wounded. It's time for you to get up and start living life again. You're only wounded in your mind. You got to start healing yourself. You're getting unstuck here. All right. You is um, the next time that you have a relationship, you have to notice the red flags because they want you to learn about equality, how it is and feel to have an equal relationship that's balanced out, that's giving equal give and take, all right? Not one somebody doing everything. That's not a balanced relationship, all right? You're branded here. You have a mission. You have a purpose. But don't let any other people brand you into their bullshit, into branding you to think that you aren't, you know, thinking that you're somebody different or thinking that you don't have willpower, Somebody trying to manipulate you out of being strong and confident. 
All right. Don't let somebody brand you with insecurities. Okay. So you have a heart. And the divine wants you to open up your heart again. Don't let what happened to you or this journey, because it didn't go as planned, hurt your heart. Makes you close your heart from love. Because they're sending you new love, but you have to have your heart open to it. All right? And you have to clear your head space. And that's why I encourage journaling. You guys are holding a lot of shit in your head, and it needs to be cleansed. Because that's part of healing. You can't keep holding old news, old baggage, old resentments and wounds. And expect to be healed. So you have to release that energy out. Write it in your journal. So you can prepare for some new energy. Some new thoughts in your head. Instead of old negative ones that hurt you. Okay. Divine said it's your self love. That they want you to focus on. Your self love. Know who you are. What you deserve. Your value and your worth. Know that, all right? Because they're sending you signs from above. They're watching you. They're taking care of you. They need you to pay attention to the signs. Your ancestors, your spirit guides, all right? Spirit themselves are giving you guys signs and synchronicities as to what's next. Pay attention, okay? But also, work on your self-love. You guys are settling for shit that you shouldn't even be settling for, okay? adversity you can overcome it you're not stuck all right it's time to get up and start living life again get dressed up change your mind thinking change your image change who you are live in your free spirit energy live in your free spirit okay this is set standards and set boundaries don't be afraid to live your life you just have to set boundaries you have to notice the red flags if it's not meant for you, then you will notice a red flag. You'll get a sign. You'll get a synchronicity from divine. You know, but through this lesson, hopefully you learned them by now. Okay? Yeah. Some situations have been an open book to you. But you don't have to be one. When you go out and meet new people, you don't have to tell them your story. You know, you don't have to be an open book to everyone. Just tell people, hey, it just didn't work out. I'm on to a new page. I'm looking forward to what's new, what's next in my life, not dwelling on what's the past. Okay? So that's what Divine is saying. Because you're a survivor. Okay? Destiny's child. You are a survivor. A lot of you guys survive a narcissist as well. But you survived a situation. So don't keep going back into it. You know, look at the benefits of surviving the situation and living a better, prosperous, happy life now. Okay? So that's what Divine wants to show you because you walked away from a situation that wasn't serving you. Okay? So let's see what's going on with this karmic. This person is being exposed. This energy, this hate, all right? That they're very insecure. You make them insecure as well, Divine fam. All right? And this is, I told you, they're irritated by you. You irritate the shit out the karmics, divine fam. The thumbs about down bitch said, I know that's right, bitch. All right, I heard you. I'm good. I'm sorry. But thanks for liking and sharing and joining the channel. Because <laughs> you sure do be there. You're just standing up for me, giving me those thumbs down. I really appreciate you fucking haters. Okay? <laughs> All right. The next one is scarcity. This is I threaten him when he tries to leave. All right. This person threatens the masculine. Whatever she got over this person, she always threatened them about leaving. Okay. She definitely threatened them about leaving. You know, whatever it is that she holding over there, all of that comes out here. And I feed off your masculine's energy. So when your masculine come over to feed off of yours, he take it back to this person so they can feed off of his. And then they'll return to you drained like some uh, vampire bullshit, Dracula shit. All right. That's what that sound like. And the next energy is I'm plotting a revenge. So she's definitely plotting a revenge here. So let's look into that. We'll put that over there and see what's going on with that revenge. All right. And is I burn with anger and hate. All right. So this person definitely sending out the evil eye. She's afraid of you guys communicate. She get pissed off. She don't want none of that. Okay. 
and I've done magic on your masculine. As we all know, she's continuously doing magic on the masculine, and she wants to deplete him and drain him completely of any energy of trying to connect with you. I make him ghost you and block you. This is what she make them do to you. All right, she's offering all kind of manipulative ways. This person definitely had an entity on your masculine, and that's why they keep returning here. She knows she's unworthy of being with this person. So that's why she wished that she was you. This is your clone. Your copycat bitch. Copy clap. But your copycat bitch. This is your clone. She wished she was you. All right. She knows what this journey is about. But she feels unworthy to be in this journey. She's fake because she feels unworthy in general. You know. She's hiding who she really is. This relationship is draining me. And the masculine knows that. That's why he's in too deep. Trying to leave this relationship is just completely draining him, her. And I don't care about the karmic. I'm only using her. All right? So she, he really don't care about this karmic energy. They just using this person because they having some hard times right now. I told you they were stuck in survival mode. All right? The karmic keeps me in a bad mood. All right? So they're always pissed off around this person. It's always some drama. But this is the life that they chose. Okay? So how is this karmic plotting revenge? What type of revenge are you plotting? Um, I've been overindulging with these karmics. So this is what she's been plotting. You know, multiple threesomes and all kind of energies of sex and drugs and rock and roll. This is what she's doing to keep the masculine. She's letting them think that they can have this fun life. But it's all a fantasy. That's not how you live in reality. Okay, and that's why she's irritated by you because you stand for who you are. You stand in your power and you don't stoop to this level to try and con someone to be with you and offer them multiple sexual favors just to have someone to be with you. All right. You rather just be alone here and I'm stuck in lower energies and I don't know who I am. And this is who your masculine is. They really don't know who they are. They feel like they just caught up in situations. They feel depressed. All right. They could be feeling sickly. They could be losing weight, ungroomed. They just really stuck right now and they don't really know who they are in this situation. That's why I'm saying they're in too deep. But divine is saying that they're starting to wake up to this. All right. They want to be helped. They could be seeking help from the guy, divine guidance from you, divine film, mirroring this energy to you. Save me from myself and save me from the karmic. All right? So they're starting to wake up to who this person is. They're starting to wake up to the fact that they can't grow, that they're not going anywhere. they just stuck in the same situations with this person. The same shit keep happening. All right? So this card fell on the floor. All right? And that is, I manifest him so well. I mean, I'm sorry, I manipulate. So she is manifesting him probably, trying to manifest him back and fuck shit through black magic. But she manipulate him so well as well. Okay? And this is, I'm broken inside. This masculine is broken. They're tired of this life. They have really got themselves in too deep. I feel nine of swords. This masculine could be crying. Here go four more energies. Um, She will never take the truth away. She would never take my truth away that they know they're divine masculine. This person could be trying to tell them that they're not a masculine. You know, that they carry devil energy. Okay? And I wish for your downfall. She just sit back and plot of ways of revenge towards you, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Alright? It's all a game to this person. And I'm abusive and toxic. This is who she is. And this is who the masculine chose because they put it out there. They wanted someone so hoarse, so sexy, so nasty, so freaky. That's going to get them threesomes. Who's lesbians who like to see two women be together. They put it out there and that's what divine gave them back. And now they built such a toxic life that it's ridiculous. They can't even stand it. They, they're meeting the most toxic women or men that they have ever been exposed to in their life because this is what they asked divine for. This is the devil energy that they asked for that they put out there. So they got their wish too. 
okay? And that's why they met somebody who's abusive and toxic. It could be some fights going on here, all right? And I know exactly what this karmic is trying to do, and I'm starting to notice it all. But as they start aging, you know, looking all ungroomed, start looking older, worn, battled, tired, beat up. All right? That's what they're noticing now, okay? And this is, I want you to give up on your twin flame. All right? Because she is trying to make the masculine give up on his twin flame journey. Give up on you. All right? A lot of you guys have went on your separate way because you're not going to play mind games with two sick people. Okay? And this masculine right here is in reverse. He's my toy. So this came out in reverse. So the masculine is saying, I'm no longer this person's toy. This is not fun anymore. They got caught up in their fetishes and their addictions. And I talk and flirt with other men. And this is what's going on here. They talk and flirt with other men. This is who they chose over you, Divine Fem. This is the person that they chose over you. So I just want to see what kind of energies the masculine want to talk about. Because they got a hunger and a thirst for you, Divine Fem. It's a hunger and a thirst for you. You know, they're tired of playing this little cat and mouse game here with the karmic energy. So it's a hunger and thirst that they have built up for you. Let's see what it is. Give us the messages from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Femme, Holy Spirit. And this is, our bond is unbreakable. This is how they feel about you. This is the unbreakable bond that they share with you. What are the messages? Your love is the cure. They feel like they love you. And your love and what you give to them is the cure. Somebody definitely could be getting poisoned. And watch out that you don't get poisoned by these motherfuckers coming back. Don't have no drinks with them. If you do, don't leave that shit unattended by you. Okay? Just be cautious. Somebody might poison your drink. All right? Try to get you to show them a good time through poisoning you. All right? In transition. Wow. All right? So somebody's in transition. I feel like there could have been a loss of a karmic. I just feel this energy, the loss of a karmic. All right? But you you ended a lot of shit here with this person. And I want you, despite all the challenges, they you transition out of this toxic energy. You could have transitioned your way out of this journey from this masculine. All right? And they're also saying right here that they want you, no matter what the challenge is, they want to try to work this out with you. Okay? And it's, I want you to trust me again. I really want you in my life. Take my hand. I need you. Despite the challenges, I feel a shift between us. I know you feel it too. They know that you feel it too here. This difference, this shift between you two. All right? And I'm scared you might know my secrets. A lot of you guys are in high priestess energy. You know their secrets. You know what they're up to. They're afraid that you might judge them if you know everything. They want you to come to them. They're calling you in and trying to manifest you back in their life. They want you back in their life. All right? And they're trying to do it sneakily by just, you know, manifesting you back, calling you in. I will hunt you down because they do not want to let you go. They don't want to let you go for nothing. They just need a taste of you. All right? They feel like you are their spiritual wife. You are the one that they're committed to spiritually. They don't want to let you go. Okay? There's a lot of cards here, so I'm going to take them. This is dark negative forces are intervening with this connection. All right? There's a snake in the camp. And somebody's definitely doing dark magic, spell work, evil eye. They're really going through a lot to get this spell work done. Don't detach yourself from me. They're in the dark night of the soul energy. They have some real dark energy here, your masculine. They don't want you to detach your energy from them. Your energy helps them grow and come out of this darkness. They need help. They need some love energy. Okay? And until then, they just feeding off of other multiple karmics. Just having one night stands. Going out there making love to people. Thinking that that's um, sufficing them. Helping them, you know, giving, getting over their little 
whatever they feel sexually that they want to get more of. And I'm holding grudges that I need to release. They're definitely holding grudges. Somebody's jealous, envious, mad. All right? And this says, I want to feed off of your energy. This is what they want to do. They need your affections, your energy, just being around you so they can go take it back to wherever they be. They want you to watch what you say. Y'all could be saying some hateful things, arguing, negativity, gossip about how this relationship is. Even if it's with your family members or your girlfriends or whatever, they feel like you're talking about them. <laughs> okay. And this is, I'm cleaning, um, I'm, what's this? I'm clearing myself up from old habits. So they could be cleaning themselves up from old habits that they have. You know, like women, extra men, drainage, baggage. And this is just erotic sexual pleasures. They're definitely trying to step into your 5D and put some sexual energy on you. You know, make you feel like they're close. They really want to trap you in some type of intimacy. All right, trap you, you know. And this is seduce you. Thank you. Your energy has been seducing me. They need your energy. And that's why I say subtract, seduce the energy. That's what they're trying to do to you, Divine Fam. All right, your bottom card is don't force me to love you or they'll run. You know this masculine is a runner energy. And all they do is run. All right. But I think you guys are okay with that because you've walked away from this connection. You're not threatened by this connection or this person anymore. This person is a controller. Here's some emperor energy. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. All right. What else do we need to know? Holy Spirit. What's this energy? All right. We're going to take, oh, this is too much. I can't take all of these, but I am. Okay. Yep. It's a queen of cups here. All right, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. That's somebody of concern. All right, and this is three of wands. This person could have been waiting forever to be with someone. All right, just very nurturing, always there, but waiting forever. You know, for somebody to rush in and save the fucking day here. Somebody could have purchased a new vehicle as well. All right, yeah, someone feel like this is a soulmate connection. Cups energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, somebody's waiting on this soulmate connection. All right, yeah, somebody's been in hermit mode, just staying to themselves. It could be a Virgo someplace. All right, next one is somebody is facing justice. It's a Libra someplace, but also somebody's facing justice. Karma is being served in the situation. All right, it could be a possible uh, water sign, queen of cups that's facing karma. All right, dealing with a soulmate. That's facing some type of karma here. Okay? Maybe you was hindering somebody. Yep, this was the other woman. So this Queen of Cups is the other woman. All right? It's being judgment brought up against this person. All right? What about this other woman's spirit? All right? So this um this Queen of Cups kind of came in here and apologized to someone. The other woman came in and apologized. All right? But somebody still walked away from this situation. Eight of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's definitely some water sign energy here. All right. A male energy walking away from a situation. Somebody's trying to have strength. It could be a Leo someplace. But somebody's definitely trying to have strength in a situation. This card is here. Yeah. Trying to have strength. All right. Because somebody definitely utilized their options. Seven of Cups. Very confused about which choice to choose here, all right? And somebody's still hanging on to the other woman. They're still hanging on to this person, but they're trying to decide to walk away. They're trying to, all right? But they're not sure what choice to choose. Wow. And the choice is the Queen of Wands. And I'm going to leave it right there. Somebody want that Queen of Wands, that Leo, Aries, or Sag. So this is what I have for you guys. If you want your own personal reading, give me a shout at Queen of Wands 50 at gmail.com. This is what I have for you guys, and I am accepting appointments for Friday. Okay? I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a beautiful night. Good night.